Alrighty guys, welcome back. This is your uh, host, ID Jester. Welcome back. We are going to be doing an unboxing video of Paz to Hell, Operation Barbarossa, June to December 1941. This is Volume 1. This is a game by Compass Games, a new direction in gaming, Compass Games. So uh, let's take a look at it. There's the top, the side. Let's look at the back. It's going to be a little more interesting. And let's take off the shrink wrap so it's not so glossy, right? Let's do that. So this is Volume 1 in the War Storm series of games. So we are going to unbox this for you and get you a chance to look at it here. So, uh, Paz to Hell recreates the events of those days and allows the player to reproduce the most famous battles of Operation Barbarossa on these front at a tactical level. Players take command of either the Soviet or Axis forces, or you can play solitaire in a tactical battle of each scenario. Complexity is average, and solitaire rating is average. The game is designed by Juan Carlos Sabarayan. And Nicholas Escubi, Escabi, I'm sorry, I'm probably mispronouncing their names, so I apologize for that ahead of time. Compass Games, alrighty, so let's see what comes in the box. Hey Tony, how you doing? Another Barbarossa game, I just bought Russian Besieged. Yeah, this is a tactical level game, yep. Alright, let's see what comes in the box here. So, oop, didn't mean to do that, sorry guys. All right, so we have the rules, the exclusive rules. So this must be uh, the rules that just apply to this system here. And uh, there is uh, just a few uh, pages, not very many. Uh, of course, you got to talk about commissars, the human wave attack, the nibble waffers. The Carusa rockets, etc., etc., gullies, um, train movement charts. All right, so that's uh, the exclusive rules. And then, of course, you have the Warm Storm series version one rules. This is a book that is about uh, 27 pages, color, color with examples and. Uh, this is a version one or version dot one. I'm not sure how to read that, but uh, so lots in red. Normally, let's see, red must be like uh, examples. Is that what they're is that what they're going for there? Red text is examples. Uh, the upgrade and new rules are in red. Okay, that's what I thought. So even though this is version one, there's a bunch, and I mean a bunch. Of red text and that is really glad to see because the one thing I heard hey mister 262 how you doing um one thing I heard about the war storm series which this is part of was that the first edition rule book was horrible there's not much to uh, explain things, didn't give good examples, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you can see there's a lot of red text that hopefully clarifies a lot of the rules. Uh, and so I'm really happy to see that because I was a little bit afraid to actually get this because this is volume one. I was afraid I was going to get the old rules set. Uh, oops, sorry again. I didn't mean to click that for you guys. So uh, anyways, color, uh, look at that, look at that. Two whole pages of columns of red. So these are all updated rules. So I'm actually really happy to see that. So good, 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 good. I'm, I'm very happy. Look at that. A whole another. This is all brand new stuff, right? All brand new stuff. This is all brand new stuff. So anything in red, as you can see, all this stuff is new. Little clarifications. Uh, so hopefully uh, that'll help uh, um, make learning the War Storm series a little bit easier for us. So yay for that. All right, we got a trained effects chart. Color-coded, nice thick card stock there. And on the backside, a few other pieces there for the rail, the gully, 
platoon bridge, trenches, and rubble. So, yeah, pretty standard stuff there. Open, wheeled, tracked, AP fire, artillery fire, AT tap fire, block line of sight, yes or no, and terrain height. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, your battalion morale chart, color coded again, thick, thick card stock, nice to see. So you're going to keep track of your battalion morale, which will adjust your uh, people's outlook on the situation. The more people that die in their battalion, the more they are not happy to be there. <laughs> All right, so that's good. We have the ARDS chart here. Uh, defensive value chart, off board artillery chart, air location chart, movement chart, spotting chart. And it looks like your defender's combat values is going to be probably um, attacker's combat, defender's combat. So it's going to be a, a, a uh, resolution like 3 to 1, 2 to 1, 1 and a half, 1 to 2, etc., etc. So... There's our combat chart. This is, I think, for direct fire, your modifiers, hand-to-hand -hand combat chart, combat strength chart. All right, again, nice, sturdy. That's nice. Penetration chart for your German AFVs and anti-tank weapons for Soviets as well. And on the back, armored assault for the Germans and for the Soviets and the aerial attack chart. So that's all looks 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 good. Uh, the other players' battalion morale chart again, nice thick paper. Another one of our odds charts. Probably if so that each player has one. Another penetration chart. Yeah, so it looks like two copies of each of the charts, which is nice. You have some overlays here that look like you're going to have to cut them out because they're on, again, kind of a thick card stock and they don't, they don't punch out. So it looks like you're going to have to get the old scissors out or in my case, I never use scissors, guys. Never. Get yourself a good X-Acto knife like this. Never use scissors. Get an X-Acto knife. Cut everything out with your X-Acto knife. So, uh, obviously, some terrain overlays here. All right. We got some scenarios. They are one on each side. So, this is June 21st. This is June 22nd. Uh, basically, you have your introductory historical information. You got your order of battle, what units came for the German and the Soviets. Scenario length, map orientation, victory conditions, your terrain notes, your historic aftermath, and then the specific notes on both the German player and the Soviet player. Uh, so the German player has initiative on turn one. The German player has four off-board depleted smoke artillery missions. The Soviet player sets up first. Soviet player notes down in secret. Where each minefield is, they can set up in hexes adjacent to hexes south of the river and in the um, Soviet setup zone. So good information there. Uh, nice little, almost like a little postcard uh, image there. I kind of like that. It's kind of good. And like I said, looks like there's a scenario. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we have the Kiev Assault, Scenario 10, which I'm not sure about, but this is set up a little bit different here. You have a support table and for both the Germans and the Soviets, and then some information. I'm not going to read that right now. Uh, scenario 11. And a couple more scenarios there. All right. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Uh, compass really does anything to make it right. It's a shame. All right. Well, let's take a look at the maps. So here is 
Map number one. There we go. Map number one. All right. Not bad. Single sided, kind of a thin cardstock paper, thin cardstock paper there. So, uh, second map here, or map number B, I guess, to be specific. I'll zoom in on the map here so you can check out uh, what it looks like. Pretty, pretty good detail on the map there, as you can see. It's, uh, it's definitely not very colorful. Every all the green kind of blends in together a little bit, so um, not not the uh, it does make the buildings stand out really well because they're like the only thing that's not green or brown. <laughs> uh. Do they have that fake fold thing going on? Yes, they do. So they have this fake fold thing going on. The best way to do uh, that is to. Run your finger along the edge, right? Just, and then what you want to do is you want to fold it over about 80%. Not all the way, right? Just about 80%. And now look it. That's almost perfectly straight now. Can you see that? Can you see that? Let's see. That is like almost perfectly straight. I'll show you how to do that again in the next uh, map here. So this is map... See, nice little, um, looks like a rail, rail station here, railroad here, looks like a, I don't know if that's, it looks like a river goes into a gully here, interesting map layout, that's for sure, all right, and so that was map number three, map number four, or map number D here. So again, you get these uh, little trifold maps, right? They're a pain in the ass to deal with, right? What you want to do is, is run your fingers along the edge. Don't press too hard, just a couple times across there. Then what you want to do is fold it right at the fold about 80%. Not all the way, about 80%. Just leave it there for a couple seconds, and look at that. You're, you're almost talking 100% straight now. Boom. And I'll lay flat. I got no hump, no nothing. Remember, you learned that here on ID Jester's channel. Right? Perfectly flat. I don't have to put anything on it. You can see it's flat. It's not, it's, there's no hump there. There's nothing there. All right, and let's see here. We got a few counter sheets and a couple. Oh, look, we got a gray dice for the Germans and a red dice for the Soviets. Isn't that cute? You don't see many gray dice, actually. This is probably <laughs> the rarest thing you're going to find in a box is this gray dice. Unbelievable, right? All right. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, four, keys, four sheets of counters, uh, two for the Germans, two for the Soviets. They are nice big counters, which is nice. Um, I'm going to get you a dimension on these. If I have my... Damn, where's my little tape measure? Don't know. All right, but they're nice thick counters. Or uh, nice big size counters. Here, let's take a look at some of these counters. Huh? So there's a BT7M. And uh, BT5s. T34s there. KV1s. T38s, 76 millimeter, some different planes there. The Gauze AAA gun, BT5s. Let's see what's over on this side.
uh, uh, maximum machine gun, maximum machine gun, 76, 82 millimeter, 45 anti tank weapon. Let's see what else. BA 10, T26. So quite a variety of units there. Uh, let's see what comes in with the German. The German MG34s. Counters look really good. I like the counter look. 70 60 millimeter Stug G3. Here's your Fac 36, 88 millimeter. 8 centimeter mortar. Studicomp 231s, Panzer 2s. Panzer 38s. Um, let's see here. Panzer 2s. Panzer 4Ds. Do they have any of the 4Hs? Maybe too early for the 4Hs to come out. Because um, this is 41. Uh, let's see here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Panzer 3s. Panzer 38s. Stugs. All right, let's look at our infantry and leaders. So, leaders are the core of this game. So, you want to have good-looking leader counters because you're going to be looking for those all the time. So, each of them have, like, a little portrait face. Hey, Phantomatic, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Regular infantry counters. All right. Lots of leaders. Lots and lots of leaders, which is nice. Good looking counters. I like the look of the counters, actually. These are, looks like five inch, five eighth inch counters. Let's see if it tells us in the box here. Oh, I keep hitting that. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, f um, five eighth counters and the others are three force counters. So the vehicles and anti tank weapons and machine guns and all that are three force inch. The uh, infantry are going to be five eighth inch counters. So there you go. There's your dimensions. I didn't even have to measure. All right, and let's look at the. Uh, German, I don't want to jip out the Germans here. Let's see what they have here. So infantry, leaders. So some of them said infantry, but the units with the gun up says, what does that even say? Something infantry. Mortar, mortar infantry, maybe is that's what that is. Uh, then there's some units in blue here. More leaders. Holy cow! You see a bunch of leaders here, right? And then some in black. This must be the SS units over here. That's my guess anyways. Yeah, Waffen SS right there. So, all right. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then, uh, of course, you have your admin counters. But you're going to have uh, your terrain, modifiers, attacks, trenches, improved positions, damage counters, double time, out of command, rubble. Stuff like that. And these look like they're 5 8 inch as well. All right, there you go. That is Paths to Hell. One, two, three, four maps. One, two, three, yeah, four maps. Four sheets of infantry counters. One sheet of admin counters. About uh, how many scenarios does it say? 13 scenarios. 
And uh, like I said, the updated rule book, you have your sheet of uh, um, terrain overlays, a couple sheets, two sheets of each of your charts. So you can give one to each player. Each player gets a battalion morale chart. Your updated standard rule book with the updated rules which we'll be reading shortly. And then your exclusive rules, which is only like seven pages long. And there you go. That is the unboxing to Paths of Hell. What do you guys think? What do you guys have to say about this? War Storm series. Has any played the, anybody played the War Storm series of games? So there's this one, and then there is Normandy, um, the beginning of the end, and I think there's another one in the series which is La Brogue, uh, what is it? Um, Al Albracus, something like that, which is the Spanish Civil War. And the gray dice. It's all worth it because you get a gray dice. Go try and find a gray dice. I dare you. I probably have a million dice. I doubt I have a gray one. If you don't think I have a million dice, I will show you I have a million dice. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I have a ton of dice. In fact, I'm going to scoot over here and see... If I got any gray six-sided dice, I need to move this stuff out of the way. Let's see. Do you have any gray six-siders in here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. I got I got gray twenty-sider dice. Oh oh, I do have a gray one. Look at that. It's kind of a marbly gray one, though. But you would think gray six-siders would be pretty common. It's not, to be honest. <laughs> That's what I'm most excited about. I got the gray six-siding dice. <laughs> ah, that's funny. All right. Well, there you go. That is War Storm Series Volume 1, Paz to Hell. This is going to be Infantry Combat, June to December 1941. So we're going to be bringing this to you guys. Hopefully uh, sometime in the near future-ish. Compass Games. Uh, not easy to find this game right now. So if you own this game or are looking to pick this one up, it's not easy to find. I'll just tell you that. Well, I should say it's not easy to find at a good price. Let's put it that way. All right, guys. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you all next time. Till then, take care. Mr. 262, Tony Phantomatic. Thanks, guys. See you all next time.